You've all heard of OpenAI's GPT OSS 20B and Alibaba's Quinn 30B. Today, we will focus on three technical differences that matter the most. First, width versus depth. GPT OSS is built with 24 layers, whereas Quinn is built with 48 layers. However, each GPT layer is more wide, meaning each mixture of extra block, the matrix is bigger. But what does the depth give you? A deeper model can learn more layers of abstraction because each layer builds on top of the previous layer for a deeper understanding. Therefore, a deeper model should have a higher performance, but training it also incurs several challenges, such as gradient vanishing, gradient exploding. Therefore, training such a model will take a lot of time and optimization. Second difference, coarse mixture of expert versus fine-grained mixture of expert. GPT has 32 experts, whereas Quinn has 128 experts, which is four times the number of GPT. From the graph, each GPT expert is more wide, more big, but the Quinn's experts are smaller. What does a small expert give you? Each expert can, can specialize in one domain of knowledge. For example, one expert specializes in medical, the other specializes in law. Therefore, since DeepSeek's MOE paper, the industry starts moving toward more fine-grained expert instead of a expert that is a generalist. Lastly, the actual performance. GPT OSS ranks around 100, whereas Quinn ranks at 50. GPT, since it's a smaller model, it's faster for inference, easier to run. But for the capability score here, uh, it's based on coding, reasoning, and mathematics, Quinn achieves a higher score. In terms of votes, Quinn also has double amounts of the votes and 1 million more downloads than GPT OSS. Therefore, if you want to deploy a model, try out Quinn 3 first. How to learn more about in depth AI infra knowledge? Check out my YouTube channel for the 5 lecture courses.